Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the third episode of this series where we are creating a Tetris game. In this episode, we're going to learn how to move the shapes and how to rotate them. So, let's get started. So, here down here, you notice that we're just only calling this once. Uh, I mean, we're just calling the paint component once. So, we need some game loop to repaint everything so we're gonna create a private timer and I know this is timer it's really bad for game for creating a game loop but I just want to make it things easily and simple for this tutorial as is aimed to for uh, beginner programmers so control shift O and import swim timer and we're gonna initialize it down here in the constructor so timer it's equal to new timer and we're gonna set the frames per second like this private okay final int frames per second as FPS and we're gonna run our game at 60 frames per second which is normal speed so private uh, I'm gonna see final int delay just to set it 1000 divided by FPS and we're gonna pass the delay to our timer class of delay here and now new action listener we're gonna implement what we want to do which is repaint new action listener like this okay first you need to import so control shift O import action listener and implement the abstract method at um, implement method it's taking a while okay there we have it so what we're gonna do here is just to, we're just going to say repaint to repaint every 60 frames 60 times uh, per second okay but we're gonna also do something else as we have a update method for each shape we're gonna create a new method here so public boy update and here we're just gonna say current shape dot update and we wanna also call here update with that we can actually update uh, the shape okay so let's move to actually move the shape so we're gonna implement implement a uh, key listener which is going to allow us is the interface which is going to allow us to to uh, get input so import it and import the unimplemented methods which is all of this we are just only going to use key press and key release we're not going to use key type so I'm just going to move it down here and the list is okay all right so here it's pretty simple which needs to say if e dot get key code it's equal to key event dot bk underscore and we're going to say left Oops. left like this and in here we are okay we need first to set so actually I'm gonna go to here shape and I'm gonna create a variable I'm gonna call this delta x and I'm gonna set it equal to zero and I'm just going to say public boy a method so we can move actually this shape we need this delta variable so public void and just set delta x I'm just gonna say oh it's going to ask for a parameter we're gonna ask for int 
delta x and just this dot delta x it's equal to delta x just like this so in the board class here we just need to call current shape dot set delta x and if we're moving to the left we need to subtract one position so minus one and we are going to copy this and say the same for right so bk underscore right and we're gonna set one okay now let's move to the shape class okay so in order to move around the board we need an x and a y variable just for the coordinates and I'm gonna set those to x to I mean x to 4 and y to 0 just to appear uh, the shape starts at the middle top middle and here I just need to say plus and it calls the x plus x multiply by the block size so board dot get block size and just gonna cut this so you can see it and here plus y multiply it by board dot get block size okay if I run this now we are appearing at the center top center well something like that we can think maybe three is going to be yeah okay now let's set our delta so here in the update method we're gonna set the x variable to delta we're gonna add it delta x like this and when then we just uh, set delta x to zero so we don't keep moving and now we should be able to move when I run okay we're not moving yet and that's because I forgot to do something here we need to add the kill listener to the window so window dot add kill listener and just say board that way we can get input and I forgot to do something else which is start this timer which is start repainting updating, and updating which calls the paint component so just going to say here timer dot start and if I try to run again we're able to move but we're not able to collide with the edges okay so in order to do that we're going to the shape class okay so we're gonna check where we collide with the right or the left so let's put this into a if statement if not x plus okay x plus delta x plus chords which is gonna see get, do it like this so we can get the columns or the length of uh, our, the rows so length and if this is greater than then it means we're colliding so we just don't move if we set it like this, let me just and we run, we're gonna see that we're not able to to move to the right if we get to the edge. Now let's do it for the left. And one thing you may notice, you, it's that the top left of the shape it's the x so we're just checking here x and we're checking the delta which is 1 and we're checking the length which is 3 so we're actually checking this square here 
okay we're gonna do the same with left so and not x plus delta x in this case delta x will be negative so it will be x minus 1 and we don't need to check the length because as I told you uh, x is the top left uh, square so we just need to say it's less than 0 then we don't move we try to run again it works we're not able to move and I think this space here it's a little just gonna add a 7 here just okay that looks much better okay now we let's incorporate the Y moving which is uh, an important part of the Tetris <laughs> okay uh, with the y we cannot just say y plus plus or plus plus a delta because it will be moved too fast and boom it falls down so we need to set like a timer another timer for that but I don't want to use timer this time so I'm gonna create just a lump variable called time and last time just to measure how how much time passed so we move and we can set the speed I'm gonna, you're gonna see what I'm talking about let's create two integers and the first is the normal speed and I'm going to make it to 600 the second is the speed down which is whenever we press the down key it should go faster and I'm gonna make this I don't know maybe then we're gonna check that before later okay so now let's initialize those variables in the constructor so turn equal to zero and last time equal to zero just to start and in the update method here okay right before let's say time plus equal system dot current time mill and this gives us the current time in milliseconds milliseconds <coughs> and we need to subtract last time actually we need to make last time here that it starts with the current time milliseconds and here we just say last time equal to this again now time is the current time pass since we're subtracting here so we just need to call here if time is greater than normal speed which is 600 uh, which is 600 it will be 600 milliseconds and we just say y plus plus we move the, the y axis the y component one once and we set the time again to zero so I'm gonna do this wait for that time equal to zero and just delete this okay when I run this it's moving down okay not colliding yet but we're gonna do this later now let's try to uh, use this speed down so let's go to the board and okay no let's go to shape again and first let's create a public void method and let's say speed I call this speed down and we first I think we're going to set it I'm gonna create a third variable actually here and we're gonna call current speed initialize it equal to the normal speed 
and just change this for normal speed and when you speed down we just say current speed is equal to uh, speed down that way it will, we will change from normal speed to speed down and in the board we just need to set the key the down key arrow for this so just change right here to down and we're just going to call current shape dot speed down okay let's try it is normal speed and okay it's too faster I'm gonna lower it to maybe 60 and that's much better okay now we need to make it to collide we need to make it to collide with the down edge so we can actually do it the same way we did with the x-axis so I'm gonna get all of this code into if statement so if if not y plus one plus course dot link which give us the uh, rows and it's greater than 20 then if this happens we can move so let's do it like this and copy this paste it here and now let's check if it collides okay the reason it's not working is because for some reason the window takes an uh, extra 30 30 uh, pixels so I'm going to increase this for 30 we were hiding one square so now it collides okay and uh, while I was testing this I noticed that if we press the down key we speed down but if I unpress it it is this going at the speed down velocity so let's go to the board and in the key release just copy this and we are going to actually ask for a parameter so let's go here and not actually no we're gonna create another method public void uh, normal normal speed and just going to be current speed is equal to normal speed and let's go report and call that when we release the down key which is one to uh, normal speed current shape and normal speed that way when we release we're not longer uh, speeding up down I mean okay so that's it for this series for this video I I'm sorry that we're not doing rotation in this video as I promised uh, at the beginning but the rotation is a, a little bit complex and it will take too long for this to get it into the same video so we're gonna do it to the next uh, so thanks for watching and see you in the next time for rotation